Well, I have two problems about that anyway. Oh, they no, haven't no changed. Problems. They, uh, this is uh, a bit of a mistake. It's not Amager Piranhas. That game just finished. So it's Orcas that are in position of the uh, ball already, playing in blue against the Turkish team playing in white. Uh, hopefully they'll change that in a minute. Y vamos a ver, Colombia, tenemos a los chicos de Orcas ya metidos abajo de la portería de los turcos. Y vamos a ver si um, pueden pasar la defensa y a ver si les sirve el juego de ayer de Colombia contra los noruegos. Fue muy fuerte, fue muy rápido, pudieron meter cuatro goles. Ahora estamos cruzando los grupos. Este es el, Orca salió, uy, a ver, Orca salió primero del grupo D. Eh, eh, los turcos salieron segundos del grupo C y entonces ahora estamos cruzando haciendo primeros contra segundos I was just explaining to the Spanish speaking community that uh, Orcas made the first place in their group and uh, Turkish team uh, the second place in their uh, C group and now they're we have to start crossing where and York explained to me that it's called quarterfinals quarterfinals we are this is Wolf here back again together with Lorena the dream the supreme dream team is uh, back here on the microphone and uh, we see the Orcas attacking the basket of the Turkish team uh, heavily again after the game we said uh, so yesterday of the Orcas against uh, Akaren which was an amazing fast heavy game and uh, uh, quite a beat for uh, uh, Akaren now I'm curious how uh, the the Turkish deal with this uh, fast agile play style of the Colombians who really go in with a lot of speed and a lot of uh, uh, flexibility in their movements and we are going again yeah, an, an attack from the uh, open side um, the ball was pushed out of the hands of the 99 Juan the, the gore uh, uh, get goal getter from the world championships in Oberhausen last week and another attack these attacks are coming now very fast under the basket and the Turkish team uh, is really lacking behind in their defense it's just seconds uh, microseconds here again another attack from the open side but the goalkeeper is really hard on the goal and uh, Samuel was making a sign to the referee this is not possible you know who I am and I didn't score here so the goalkeeper has to be clued to the basket Sí, acabamos de ver que Samuel estaba tratando de atacar al portero y el portero pero no se movió con nada y Samuel se dio vuelta y le acaba de decir al referee que mire que mire que bueno para él el portero de los surcos estaba como metiendo el hombro o bueno bloqueando de alguna forma no tenemos la lista de los referees de estos juegos we don't have the uh, name of the referees of the games, right? No, we don't have them. We have to ask referees. So, uh, Turkish team uh, DYSK tries to attack here, but they're stopped in the middle. They didn't even reach the Colombian basket. And we are back in the half off. And the uh, Colombian stole the basket off the Turkish. And this is a dangerous situation, but the Turkish Camilo. team... Camilo, yeah. Camilo is uh, known for stealing the basket. It's his favorite job. And I think he's smiling right now. Probably. And uh, too long he's, he's really standing down there quite a long time. And now comes the attack. And this is a chance because the goalkeeper is yeah. not really in place there. Another yeah. attack, but the ball is free and pushed away by the Turkish defender. Wow, this was a dangerous situation, but the, the Colombians didn't make it in time to reach the goal. Uh, very well defended here by the Turkish. They know they have to be careful close around their basket. And they do, until now, they do a quite uh, good job to holding the uh, Orgas at bay. Although we saw some uh, heavy attacks on the backs of the goalkeepers. And we wonder here too why they didn't move. But since there was no call from the referees, so all things are fine. And again, another wave coming in but you see the Colombians are not as fast as they have played against uh, Akaren. This is another attack from above. The uh, attack of the Colombian tried to push the ball next to the head and again Camilo stole the basket and again the, the Colombian player tries to push his hand between the basket and here comes this is the goal! Wow, goal and de Orcas. Estuvieron ahí metidos arriba de la canasta well de, los, de los turcos y atacar, atacando, atacando, aparentemente sí, eh, and it was initialized by Camilo by uh, stealing the basket. So uh, this was the turning point and uh, the attacker from uh, the open side came in and Camilo moved and that was the spot he needed to push the ball inside. So 1-0 after four and a half minutes here in the first half. Orcas in blue against uh, the Turkish team DYSK in white. Well, starfish, I think th that means starfish. Okay. And the uh, Turkish team here in the attack lost the ball in the attack and the Colombians go 
in their fast uh, counter break and they're almost unstoppable in the middle but this was a nice kick on the ball but their uh, forging defense and their counter checking is uh, very fast very agile they move on the spot like uh, they have all the, the surroundings they need to, to turn it's incredible and amazing and impressive could we see who did the goal a ver Colombia pudieron reconocer no, porque era I una didn't. masa de gente eso aparte tanta burbuja y tanta patada es tan fuerte tan veloz este, este but, but you can play back the screen for two hours so you can play back the stream a little bit and check and, and even hold it sí, guys maybe you can we cannot do it here but uh, you can go back in the streaming like after two hours so you can go a little bit back wow that was a nice ball play it. very nice ball play with which they outplayed uh, the Turkish uh, defender that was that was very well done because they didn't uh, fight physically but they just played uh, passes around around uh, the Turkish defenders very uh, very no. nice play Vamos a ver los chicos de Colombia creo que ese Juan La Verde que está tratando de venir por el lado de la cabeza del portero pero no pudo meter el gol esos turcos están pegados ahí a la canasta o sea, no hay forma de sacarlo sin embargo eh, Colombia no está teniendo problemas de atacar, los que están teniendo los problemas son los turcos de mantenerlos, tenemos a dos abajo de la portería y es And otro goal. gol, ¿quién hizo el gol? A ver, ayúdenme, ven, es que es un video you de saw gente. You saw it with a, with a far away camera, uh, the first player came from the close side, from the corner, was waiting, looking up to two of the players coming down, and when they were on the way to the basket, he uh, pushed from the wall into the defense and he played to one of the yep. players uh, down and they both went in and the ball was moving between them and uh, those who had a better chance scored very sí. well done very classic Porque style very well I don't know, played. chicos en Colombia lo que pueden hacer ustedes es retroceder un chiquitín en live stream porque pueden ver hasta dos horas nosotros acá no podemos pues estamos viendo el, el partido entonces pasan para atrás y fíjense si pueden ver y ahí me ayudan para ver quién <laughs> ¿Quién metió el gol? Es que siempre hay tanta masa de gente metida, que es muy difícil. Aparte, ustedes pasan el balón Call tan from rápido. the referee. Choking and free throw against Colombia. A ver, un tiro libre contra los chicos de Colombia. What I really know, and I've heard also from the Norwegians, guys, that it's very, very annoying the system that um, the Colombia is up to steal the basket. Yes, you know yes, yes. There. But but actually, uh, what Camilo told me, yeah, it's he uh, learned it from Molde. Exactly. I know. I explained to the Norwegian guys that too. The, normally, the the Colombians in the in the in the years ago, they played a uh, super fair, uh, no tactical fault, and they learned from the teams here at the Champions yeah, Cup. You have so to overstep <laughs> the boundaries sometimes to to score oh. here. And another attack yeah, from Turkey. There was, there was almost no defense. The defense was there just in time. But this is the Colombian team. They recover the ball in an attack like this and go in the counter attack in a blink of an eye yeah, you yeah. don't even realize what yeah. just happened you blink and the Colombians are on the other side of the basket it's so fast it's tan rápido el juego es increíble y la canasta estuvo como vacía por un chiquitín pero enseguida se recuperaron recuperaron el balón y empezaron el contraataque o sea they have just uh, a domination they dominate the game so much I mean the tactic that they can allow themselves to oh uh, just that, was, that was that a was a was difficult uh, dangerous pass here right in front of the Colombian basket but the the speed um, I haven't seen this and I think the only team that can match here uh, probably in the, s in the speed wise is Bamberg. Uh, yeah, that could be. And what about the Rixu guys, the Finnish guys? Probably Rixu, but they play another Flipper? game. Flipper, not They're in the different. speed. It's I don't think it's yeah. another, uh, it's another, I think it's another style to play, but they don't have the speed. In a game against the Colombians, uh, I think Flipper would just uh, Duck into the defense. Just jumping in. Apparently, the second goal was done by Federico Londonio. Apparently, the second goal was done by Federico And here we are still in the Turkish part of the pool. Vamos a ver. Están tratando de atacar por la derecha. And another uh, attack. And here come the second players in the play, the stations, the balls pass through. Que estaba justo al lado izquierdo tratando de atacar al portero y um, no puede. Lo, 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 lo llevaron para arriba los turcos. A ver, Wolfie, sorry. No, 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 good. It, it's it's, uh, it's the so fast that I yes. jump in. I mean, I don't mean it. I think it. From, from the style, the evolving of the style we see in the playing, uh, the Colombians definitely <laughs> are uh, the, the most evolved game uh, play here and team we, we've seen before. 
totally agree with uh, Mio, Mayot, Mayot uh, that the goalkeepers yes. of the Turkish team yes. are having a hard day at work yes. today. Because the, they, they all pro uh, almost all the Colombian attacks go through. They, yeah. they, they, yeah, uh, the, the they, they are hurt. unstoppable and the, the, col uh, the goalkeepers are the last resort for the Turkish here and they get most of the, the push. Uh, Break. The wow, the first produce. half already threw it so fast. I, um, it's so fast. It's pasó tan rápido. Ya pasó el primer tiempo. Por Dios, 2 a 0 para Orcas. Yesterday, do you remember when uh, a Karen finish also the like was 2 0 already in the first half? I can't remember. I, know I don't that remember they the first half, but it was it was something like 2 0. I think. Cuatro a 0 los chicos con a Karen y creo si no recuerdo mal en los primeros dos goles cayeron en la en el primer tiempo. Let me give me one minute so I can go through the name to the roster of each team. A ver, let's see if that. Mm, give me one second. Where is the Turkish team? I apologize already for my pronunciation. Probably if Levent is watching, they can smile a little bit. Okay, here we go. Ah, but we don't have the numbers. Yeah, huh. just say the names. Well, I will say the names. We have Hakan, Ekin, Kerem, Osan, Berkan, Mert, Ilkan, Onur, Ugur, Fatid, Kan, Kan, and Umit. Uh, but I don't have the, the number. But that those are the participants, but they have a great, you know, they have the jerseys, and you can see the numbers yeah. and the names. The names are on a the ver, jerseys. Orcas, ¿quién está jugando con qué número? Chicos, préstame atención. Uno, Federico, dos, uh, Jorge, Pacho, o sea, cuatro, Daniel, seis, Javier, siete, Manuel, once, Samuel, capitán, catorce, Alejandro, veinticuatro, Camilo, veintiséis, Sebastián, Londoño, treinta y dos, Sebastián, Ochoa, treinta y siete, Diego, ochenta y ocho, Pablo, noventa, Rember, noventa y nueve, Juan José La Verde, which was, que era el goleador del sub-21 que ya se terminó el domingo en Overhausen. Vamos a ver. A ver. Dilo, bueno, sí, es lo que estaba mostrando, o sea, por eso cuando Samuel intentó meter el gol, se dio vuelta y lo miró al referí en la cara y le agarró como los dedos y como que se apuntó a los ojos para, para como avisarle al referee que mire. Pero, bueno, hay tanta gente metida y el, 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 todo funciona tan rápido que a veces eh, los referees no, no llegan, no llegan a ver y, bueno, eh, hacen de verdad lo que, lo que más pueden, lo que mejor pueden. Let's see, Turkey, are you there? Están ahí? <laughs> are you there? You have the relative of the Turkish teams also watching. So we go into the second half here. It's uh, 15 seconds left, and uh, Turkey really has to leave uh, its half now and try to score against Colombia to turn this game around. But it's so difficult uh, for them to leave the half at the cost of forechecking. Even when the Colombians swim uh, together with the Turkish attack, they uh, manage to push the ball out of the hands of the Turkish team. And we are already on the way to the Turkish half here. No, this is uh, turning around. Hakan uh, got the ball, but he pushed it in the hand of a Colombian. And they are everywhere. It's just like... Uh, you see them moving back and forth so fast. But that was a wow, diff, uh, dangerous pass in the hands of a Turkish player. But again, Colombians are there to save the day. But this forechecking of the Turkish is uh, super nice here. We see in the beginning of the first half, second half. They're in between the Colombian play. A ver, tenemos uh, a Camilo. Eh, cubriendo la portería de los chicos de Orcas y están ahí en el medio tratando de recuperar el balón acaba de caer, dos chicos de Orcas van acaba de pitar el referee a ver qué nos dicen es un tiro libre contra el equipo de Orcas y eh, los turcos están tratando de hacer el mismo truco de robar y están ahí <risa> haciéndose cariñitos en la portería a ver, Camilo tiene experiencia robando o sea que ahí están ahí a meta que a los abrazos Vamos a ver, eso es para los dos, los dos por igual, es empujar sin el balón. Y estaban haciendo foul contra foul y no está, o sea, both, we have the Turkish team. Stealing the basket, at the, well, is this the Turkish basket we yeah, see yeah, there? Yeah, this is the Turkish basket. 
So? But Camilo was there. No, no. Ah, didn't, I didn't see didn't it before. You see, they were like pushing both. And we well, were yeah. I remember when the Colombians were playing against uh, Bamberg from Germany, and uh, the goal, uh, Camilo was trying to steal the basket, and he pushed the Bamberg player away without ball. And again here, the next attack, but uh, <laughs> Colombia is waiting. Hey, Levent, how are you? Welcome uh, in the live chat here for the Champions Cup 30 in Berlin. Great game here from the Turkish team, but the Colombians are just uh, almost unstoppable. This was close. The ball was almost uh, stuck in penalty. the penalty. Now we have, ahora tenemos un penal. So it was uh, whole shoulder was in the basket, sign uh, for the shoulder in the basket of a Turkish player. This uh, was why the ball didn't get inside uh, the basket when uh, the Colombian player, I think it was Samuel Gaviria, tried to push it in. So penalty. Uh, and the Orcas are already leading with the 2-0. Uh, yep. Um, Mayot, I also completely agree with you that the, the attackers need to uh, keep the, the ball attackers of the Orcas farther away. Otherwise, um, they create a lot of chaos, the Colombian style of attacking. And, uh, and here we go. Penalty is running, 45 seconds. Sí, un penalty contra el equipo de Turquía. Who is attacking? ¿Quién it's está atacando? ¿Es Federico este chico? A ver, no, no es Federico este. A ver, a ver, ¿quién me ayuda a reconocerlo? Ustedes lo conocen un poquito mejor bajo el agua. Está tratando de hacer Very una well merda. Está he por abajo, merda. Pero, eh, a ver. Ah, he thought the ball is already in. Sí. Está poniéndose en. Wow, oh, okay. ¿Qué pasó? A ver. Gol. Perfecto. ¿Quién fue este de este, chicos? The Turkish goalkeeper, it looked like the Turkish goalkeeper didn't know if the ball was inside when the, the, the Colombian player tried or did the, the Merla scissor technique around the basket and he was looking and just waiting and uh, then the Colombian player was in front of the basket and the, the Turkish uh, uh, defender was above him so it was an easy move for him to put the ball inside. So it's a 3-0 here in the second half Six. and it's still 6 minutes and 10 seconds to go and here comes uh, Turkey. And Chirai said, well, no, they're they doing are true. A, a good job. Yeah, I mean, it's of course, it's easy for us to say they should do this and that, but we know how difficult the speed and the game of the Orcas Shit, that's are. That's an so amazing the game. Team are, are doing a great job defending. It's not easy to defend the speed and the movement, actually. If they wouldn't be doing a good we job, we see a game of the highest level here. For much more uh, score, higher. Uh, but if they, I mean, maybe to, to be able to to, to keep this, the, the score like that, uh, the attackers need to maybe, yeah, I don't know, move faster. It's so, I don't know, it's so, it's so easy to say for us, but they are so fast. Well, it's, strange, it's just so a level we see. The level C is world class, uh, top level class. And uh, if we say uh, the Turkish team is lacking behind the Colombians, we say it, they, this whole team, this whole game is on a speed level that is just undoable for most of the other teams not uh, here on the Champions Cup. This is really a uh, um, top level game and call from the referee again. Vamos a ver, a ver. A free throw free against throw, Colombia. Tiro libre contra Colombia y tenemos a ver Samuel estaba en la portería y ahora Creo que ese es Juan La Verde. Algunos los reconozco un poquitín ya, pero no estoy segura. Vamos a ver, está el defensor defendiendo ahí con las patitas. Hay que tener mucho cuidado de no patear ahí, de apoyar y empujar. Y eso a veces, si el juego es muy rápido, uno a veces sin querer va a dar una patada. The Colombians are so queriendo. fast <laughs> inside the ball carrier's area and so close to the basket, so fast. So the, the, the Turkish players here don't have time to turn to turn away when the attack comes and it's uh, the 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 ball capabilities ah, ah, there was no there was no but nevertheless he th this this uh, Colombian player passed the ball behind his back two times and uh, in the open but still he recovered the ball himself quite amazing Sí, a mí una pena estaba faltando el jugador de, de Orcas, ahora está Camilo, ahora está viniendo, está solo con el portero, se va a meter abajo, viene otro de las Orcas por el lado derecho, no sé quién es, y están por debajo, están todos los turcos ahí defendiendo. Ya no saben más qué hacer los turcos. Turkish, I don't know, I don't know how to, I mean, they don't know anymore what to do to defend. Now they were all down, the now they're all up. One on one, one situation for a y second. Y ese hombre estuvo medio ahí un poquitín dentro, a ver eso... It, it's uh, in the with the style of the Colombian Spain, it is an amazing defense work here, uh, like uh, the one from Akaren. Uh, amazing defense work. They only are 3 0 mm. because the, the, the Colombians move in so fast. Now we have two Colombians on the basket and another goal. And it's a 4 0 
for the Orcas here against uh, DYSK. And this is just incredible. These teams, these two teams play on a, such a high level and uh, the Turkish team is one of the top teams. This is timeout now, uh, guess for the Turkish team. This uh, Turkish team is on such a high level and even though the Colombians top it uh, a little base piece, so the the team from Turkey is running behind them. Okay, the girl from Ag, um, God, sorry, uh, Amaga, just telling us that uh, that's the name of the island where the airport is uh, in Copenhagen, I guess. Uh, ah, okay. Because there was a mistake, someone had said it was a slang for something. And okay, so, so Amaga so is the island of the airport. And it's the name, yeah, it's the name. Thank, Thank you, you for the explanation. Please keep, keep us updated. Please give us um, information uh, about the players Bamber. we don't have. Um, uh, Colombia está preguntando, el partido de las 12 va a ser entre Bamberg a Karen. Estamos cruzando a los eh, ganadores con los segundos de cada grupo. Eh, entonces, el siguiente va a ser eh, Bamberg o, eh, a Karen eh, a las 12. So, Bamberg eh, against a Karen at 12 o'clock because we are crossing the first of the group C, which is Bamberg against the second of the group D, that is a Karen. So, that will be at uh, 12. That means right after this game. Then we have Flipper, Budevichovic, uh, Bad Boys, sorry, and uh, Riksu with Malmo Triton. We are crossing all the teams first and second places for the quarter of finals. So uh, Turkey is here in the attack, lost the ball, and we have another counter-attack wow. from Colombia. Ah, the yeah, ball yeah, was yeah, stolen yeah. by uh, the, 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 the basket was stolen by a Colombian player. He's on the basket, but the Turkish player is right yeah. behind him. Oh, well done by the Turkish goalie. He was just hiding behind the Colombian, and now the Turkish are in ball possession and go for a counter-attack. But the, the, the Colombians, you, first you don't see a Colombian uh, and you think the, the Turkish player can uh, force a one-on-one -on -one situation on the goal and suddenly the Colombians all around the, the basket, they move so fast through the, the pool, it's really impressive. Eh, sí, a ver, estamos ahora en la portería de los chicos, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> Let's see, están apuntando Pushing. a alguien. Quiero aclarar una Free cosa, y lo que la piscina estaba sucia, Turkey. y hoy a la noche pusimos el robot, hay un robotito que va por la piscina, por el suelo y va absorbiendo. El problema es, es eh, se sale eh, el, ¿cómo se llama? el material que se pone entre los azulejos, eh, se está saliendo, se está desprendiendo, en realidad este, este, esta piscina la están queriendo renovar hace unos años y al final el estado acá de Berlín como que no se organiza, entonces el problema es con la velocidad eh, de las aletas, eh, y los juegos uno tras de otro se empieza a salir eh, ese material que está en la unión de los de los eh, durante el día mira ve que ya está empezando a salir de nuevo y durante la noche bah, dejamos el robotito de nuevo que vaya limpiando y aspirando así que bueno lo, eh, ah, ok tenemos a los chicos de orca atacando contra la porquería tenemos a juan la verde creo viniendo dándole con todo lo que tiene y ese turco estaba ahí medio pegado y ese hombro está medio adentro eh Uh, for me, this is a bit uh, inside. It's too much inside from my taste, but um, maybe it's just my angle of view. Let's see. Uh, Turkey continue with the defender. Also, a great, great job. It's just that Orcas is really, really dangerous. That's a pity. He just got the ballon, the, the ball, and he couldn't. He didn't have any player of his team to go out. And that's the thing with Orcas. You need to do it immediately, otherwise you will be back. On behind your, them. Yeah. You're running behind them. And uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one, uh, close quarter situation here on the open side. But the, the ball play, the, the baseball, uh, basketball style playing of the Colombians is really fast. It's back and forth. And uh, the, the Turkish players and the four checkers are really swimming here. We see them swimming behind the ball. But this one was right in the hand of a Turkish player. Oh, this was... Uh, Okay, break. Wow, that's it. End of the second half, the and second uh, half. we have a 4 0 lead of the Orcas. Orcas. Um, let me wow. The, um, ah, here we see the, the Turkish players here coming out of the water, and uh, they look swimming. exhausted. Uh, we can get rid of Torsten is back with us. Oh, Torsten is there. <laughs> So, vamos a ver. 
This was a great game and uh, this was an uh, amazing speed again, which was forced by the Colombians on the Turkish like it was forced on Akarem. Um, uh, compared to Akarem, uh, uh, the, the, the team from DYSK uh, um, had a chance to play more open than uh, we are in the uh, then the uh, team from Norway, Akadem. Uh, oh, what is the, I wanted to show the um, Sea Dragons brought us like a little, we still have the copy from the Fatis and <laughs> now we have two, the two. Um, Next game coming up is uh, Bamberg, uh, Germany against Akadem. Okay. This will be another speedy game. And I'm quite curious uh, to see Bamberg because yesterday they played against, uh, and I already forgot against whom. I'm going to give my place to Thorsten. You want to? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let me see um, the game Hello. yesterday. Bonjour. Hello, Thorsten. How are you? Uh, uh, against? Oh, you have to here again now yeah. talk. Oh, and it's all right. Again. Uh, what, which game did we see yesterday from Bamberg, uh, Thorsten, uh, which was very uh, tough game from uh, against Bamberg? Against the Turkish team. Yeah, the against the Turkish team, yes, the, the true, last uh, team. It was half past nine against the uh, Turkish club uh, from Izmir. And it was a very tough game. We've seen Bamberg um, scoring very quick in the, in the first half. So they, they got a 3-0 lead. In the second half, we have seen um, two time penalties against Bamberg. Nevertheless, Bamberg scored even with and just five and players a penalty. in the water. And a penalty. And a, and a penalty, yeah. That was that was just crazy when they had yeah. two people outside, yeah. uh, and then they uh, got a penalty against them. That's true. But I'd like to see if uh, <coughs> if they play the same style they played against uh, the Turkish team against Akaren, because yep. it was a lot of push, a lot of speed, a lot of pressure on the basket. We've seen yesterday. I don't know uh, the Orcas. They played against uh, Akaren yesterday, so I think they, they yes, won. Yes, and they pushed him against the wall. Zero. Yes. Yep. And now we have seen uh, the Orcas against the Turkish team, and they were yeah. uh, played oh. the same style, oh really oh fast, God. really pushy, really uh, fast forging, and they really the, the, the Turkish team had more chances to break out of this uh, constant attack than Akaren, but nevertheless, uh, the Colombians dominated uh, the game, and I'm uh, looking forward now <coughs> for the top teams getting closer to each yep. other, and I want to see uh, want to see. Uh, Orcas playing against one of the teams like uh, Rixu, Bamberg or Flipper. Yep. This would be great. So here um, at least we are we are uh, having the quarterfinals. It's already quarterfinals. Yeah, these it? are the quarterfinals. The the, the <coughs> groups are crossing yep. now. Yeah. So it's uh, the first um, against the it. second. So we have Akaren right now who was in the same group with the Orcas. So they lost against Orcas as the reason we come there second in the group now. So we can here see Sebastian Lange in the water with the number 11. Uh, game is, is starting uh, immediately in a couple of seconds. You can tr you can even go on our um, Champions Cup homepage, what is uwr24.de. There you can find uh, the team list. So if you want to, uh, to cheer your team members, your don't know family members or friends, um, you're watching here because it's quite tough even to see every number here. For example, we see here the number one who is a uh, fight Hoffman. But the best way to see it is yeah. if they have the jersey with a big uh, white number on the back. Uh, the numbers here on the, the caps are difficult to say if the players move fast in the, in the frenzy around the basket. Yeah. So we can see Bamberg in blue here now and still playing a bit around with the ball. We are still waiting for the referees here going in the water. Do we know who are the referees? Uh, no, we don't have a list from the Which referees. Auch ein uh, Hallo und schönen guten Tag, uh, schönen guten Morgen. Ist es eigentlich noch morgen? Ich habe mm, mein komplett Zeitgefühl Uhr. von uns. 12 Uhr? <lacht> ja, es ist für Berlin, es ist noch früher Morgen. Ähm, manche Cafés haben noch gar nicht offen, in denen man frühstücken kann das hier in Berlin. Gehört, ja. <lacht> <lacht> Aber Berliner Luft gibt es schon. <lacht> <lacht> ja, Grüße aus Berlin hier, Champions Cup, der 30. Champions Cup hier in Berlin, der 15. in Folge, der hier in Berlin veranstaltet wird. Ähm, und wir befinden uns am zweiten Tag und äh, das Spiel, das wir sehen, ist äh, Spiel 35 und es ist Bamberg in Weiß äh, gegen, äh, gegen äh, Bamberg von Deutschland, gegen Ackeren äh, in Weiß äh, von Norwegen. Ja. So, der Ball ist in der Mitte. Positioniert, das ist ein bisschen verrutscht jetzt gerade noch ein bisschen, also ein bisschen mehr auf der Schiebung, Schiebung, Schiebung. Aber ich denke, jetzt, da wird keine der beiden Mannschaften jetzt groß irgendwie Protest deswegen einlegen. Ähm, 
Ja, der schießt sich da gerade mit der Flosse so ein bisschen den Ball verschoben. So der And now the game starting. Let's see. Oh. So there was a... The referee was not ready yet. So they, they started the game, but immediately stopped the game. Obviously, they, they were not ready so Early far. start, probably an early yeah. start from one of the players. So what I can see is that on the other side we can see Kaiser from Sweden. And uh, 